One of the things I say a lot is that anxiety is not painful. And people say, you're crazy. Of course, anxiety is painful. There's a bunch of things, a bunch of misconceptions that I think people have about anxiety. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what anxiety is not to kind of clear up some of those misconceptions. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Hi, and welcome to The Anxiety MD, a channel I created to give you the best possible information to help you overcome anxiety. My name is Dr. Russ Kennedy. I am The Anxiety MD because I'm a medical doctor and MD who struggle with anxiety for many, many years. And I want to give you the best information I can to help you not have to struggle like I did. So today I want to talk about what anxiety is not. And there are four things that anxiety is not that kind of freak people out a little bit because I have a different perspective on anxiety. And I really want to show this to you so that you can heal from it. So anxiety is not a mental illness. Anxiety is not fear. Anxiety is not a character flaw or a weakness in your personality. And anxiety is not painful. That is a key, a key issue. And I want to show you that as I go through. So the painful part is probably the part that has the most punch here, but I'm going to go through these in order. So anxiety is not a mental illness. And I'm a medical doctor and we love to make illnesses out of everything. So anxiety is a coping strategy. It's something that we developed typically as children as a form of worry, as a form of hypervigilance, of looking around and constantly looking for what could possibly go wrong, so for threats. So when we look around for threats and we start worrying about these threats and then those threats don't come true, in our little child mind, we start perceiving that maybe if I worry about stuff, that bad stuff won't happen. And it becomes this controlling way of controlling the world because we think that if we worry that we're safe. And then we become unsafe if we're not worrying. And that's when the whole cycle starts to really keep rolling over on us. And it makes it really, really hard to live a normal life if you're only feeling safe when you're worried. You see the paradox there? Like it's not going to work. So anxiety is not a mental illness. It's a coping strategy. And often when I try and help people get rid of their anxiety, I, in their back of their mind, I'm helping them get rid of something that is helping them, of a coping strategy that's helped them understand what's going on. And if they worry, they're somehow safe. So if I take away your worry and your worry was keeping you safe, where are you? So one of the things about anxiety that I try and give people is a real grounding into their body so that we don't have to worry so much. We don't have to stay in our heads and constantly try and control the situation. The second thing that anxiety is, is it's not fear. Fear and anxiety get lumped together and they all get rinsed in there together and they're not the same thing. In my book, fear is something that has to be dealt with right away. Like if I walk outside of my house right now and I'm about to be trampled by a bunch of elephants, that's fear. I'm afraid that my body gets afraid and there is a fight or flight reaction and I have to react with that right away. But anxiety is different. Anxiety is not about the moment, although it will try and trick you into thinking that it is about the moment and you have to do something about it right away. And the thing about anxiety is it's not fear. Fear, you have to do something about right now. Anxiety, you don't have to do anything about at all. And if you try and do something, if you try and worry, you just make the anxiety worse. So if I am worried about being trampled by elephants the next day, that's anxiety. If I'm in front of a bunch of elephants that are going to trample me, that's fear. And the thing about anxiety is that you don't have to do anything about it. Anxiety will try and push you into making a decision. And like, I have to do something about this right away. But nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, if you wait and take some breaths and pull into yourself and get resource within yourself. Nothing has to be done about anxiety. You don't have to think anything about anything. The third thing is it's not a character flaw or a weakness. Anxiety is not a weakness. So many of my patients think, geez, you know, I feel so weak. I can't do this. I'm afraid to go there. I'm afraid to leave my house. And really what winds up happening is we wind up doing everything that normal people would do, but we do it with a hundred pounds of fear on our back. So if anything, anxiety is a strength. It's not a weakness. Now I know it makes us feel weak, but
But the fact that we go out and go to the grocery store, pick up our kids, play with our kids, go to, go to work. When I was in med school, I was an anxious mess. I was still able to learn everything I needed to do to graduate med school, but I was still an anxious mess for the first 18 months to two years. So I know exactly what it feels like to be in this, this alarmed body state that created so much pain for me. So it's not a character flaw and it's not a weakness. It's actually a sign of strength because you can do things with 100 pounds of fear strapped to your back. And the last thing is anxiety is not painful. Anxiety is just anxious thoughts. That's all anxiety is. If you believe them, then it becomes painful because your body reacts to a thought as if the thing was actually happening. So when you worry about something, you create this pattern in your mind of belief that this bad thing is actually happening. If you think, I'm having a heart attack, I might be having a heart attack, your body doesn't think, I might be having a heart attack. Your body thinks, I am having a heart attack. And your body reacts to that. And that's what creates the pain. It's the alarm in your system, in your nervous system, that creates that pain. The thoughts themselves are painless. And I'll give you an example. If I have two patients in my office, one's a 15-year-old girl, one's a 15-year-old boy, and I walk in and I say, hey, Jessica, you might be pregnant. She may freak out because she's 15. She doesn't want to be pregnant. So her body reacts to that. Now, if I walk in and I say, hey, Jeff, you might be pregnant, his body's not going to react at all to that because he doesn't believe the thought that he might be pregnant. So it's that point of belief that creates so much problem for us. And we do it consciously and we do it unconsciously. And that worry, that constant habit of worry starts playing with us. And it starts making us think that this thing is actually happening when it's not. Because probably when we were younger and we worried about something and it didn't happen, we made the unconscious connection that, hey, if I worry about something, it doesn't happen. So then we become afraid not to worry. So the anxious thoughts are not painful. When you believe them, then they become alarm in your system. And the alarm itself, yes, is painful. But if you can separate out the anxious thoughts of your mind from the alarm that's in your body, because they feed on each other. The alarm in your body feeds these anxious thoughts of your mind, and the anxious thoughts of your mind feed this alarm in your body. And belief is the linchpin. Belief is the point that creates all this feeling in our body. And it's the feeling in the body that really hurts. So these are the four things that anxiety is not. You know, it's not a mental illness, it's not fear, it's not a character flaw or weakness, and it's not painful. So if we can remember these things, often it'll help us just see that the worry, there's nothing we have to do about it right now. We don't have to think anything about anything. We can just let things go. And if we do that, our anxiety will start to fade because we don't believe so much. We don't take our thoughts so much like they're true. And if we stop believing that our thoughts are true, then our body starts to relax and we start breaking that alarm in the body, anxiety of the mind cycle that will just make us miserable. And I know. So if you have any comments, I would love to hear them. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. And I'll end this video like I end all my videos, which is don't believe everything you think.